Hello guys, my name is Prajwal and welcome back to another informative session on web automation. Now, let us first speak about what is web automation. Now, the first thing that comes into your mind when you think about automation is a robot. Why? Because the robots have capabilities that can do things or can, that can perform functions automatically with a single command or sometimes no commands as well. A robot has the capability to see the environment around us and perform certain functions related to it. Now, how do we th see a robot? Uh, maybe in a physical form with hands or maybe without hands without some with some mechanical parts am I right now what if I told you that a robot can be sometimes invisible well not exactly invisible but you can't touch or feel the robot you would be like how is that possible now for programmers they would know what the answer would be it is a program a program cannot be touched uh, cannot be touched or felt but is still or but still acts as a robot now web automation is a process in which you automate uh, some functions or normally let me give you an example to explain this better uh, normally when you open youtube and you click on my video so how many steps are involved in that approximately 10 to 12 steps so you first open your browser or you first open your browser and then you type www or the, you type the url of youtube then you probably hit search or if you're subscribed my channel of which you should definitely do soon then you would just go to subscriptions and you have various options to visit my channel click on my video well what if i told with the click of a button uh, you can automate all these steps into just one step and this step is the click of a button and the computer itself through the program will perform all these tasks including opening the browser going to youtube searching for my video and clicking on it and even subscribing my video as well now you would be thinking how is this possible well have <coughs> this is possible with the help of web automation so next let's, let's start on actually web automating so for this the first step would be installing a library called selenium through command prompt so follow me so first we'll search for command prompt so i'll give a keyword c m d and here it is command prompt so let's click on command prompt now it opens the command prompt for us and now what we are going to be doing is typing pip install selenium now since i'm on a windows it is pip install selenium whereas if you're on a mac or linux then it would be pip3 so it will be pip3 install selenium so the only difference in a mac or linux would be pip3 so uh, i think in mac you would also need a sudo for all the permission so after this to install the library let's hit enter here selenium or oh, when i when we are giving pip install selenium selenium here which is this right here is an library or a package and it is one of the best packages for web automation that i have known now you can use selenium the special thing or the special feature about uh, selenium is you can use it with different languages you can use it with python java you can use it with javascript any other language that you know and the best thing is you can use selenium as a part of itself or you have an application that selenium provides you and you can use selenium all by itself standing alone without any other programming language or software required so so now under, let's understand about selenium or let's know more about selenium so this is the official website of selenium and as you can see you have various uh, packages that are provided by Sel uh, uh, selenium themselves one is the selenium web driver then you have the selenium ide and then the selenium grid now here we are going to be using the selenium web driver 
and since we are using one of the functions from selenium that is the selenium web driver we are going to be importing web driver from selenium so after we have installed selenium we will be installing something called as a gecko driver now what is a gecko driver so let me minimize this window so uh, first thing is okay let's talk about what is a gecko driver so now there are two types of drivers one is chrome driver and one is gecko driver so now what gecko driver or chrome driver helps you to do is it helps you to simulate or it helps you to automate using specific browsers now if you want to use chrome then you better go for chrome driver whereas if you want to use firefox you need to go for gecko driver now one thing that i have observed is that if you are on a windows and I, I would probably prefer you to use gecko driver because i have seen chrome driver not working sometimes properly it, it has some errors with it some bugs which i think they need to uh, still fix and but uh, firefox or that is gecko driver works perfectly on windows and if you are on a mac or linux then you can use chrome driver or gecko driver as per your needs so currently i will be using gecko driver so let's go to let's type gecko driver so here i have let's hit enter so now we will be clicking the first link okay so this is releases mozilla gecko driver github so this is a github link now github has most of the brilliant libraries that have been used and developed by most of the programmers around the world and gecko driver is one of them so let's install gecko driver so uh, yeah go uh, let me make it clear if you're using gecko drivers on a window then you need microsoft visual studio and you can actually download it right from here so let's install gecko driver so let's just come down we'll see the page so here i have a 64 bit lin uh, windows computer Hence, I'll be clicking on Gecko Driver version 0.260 WinZip. So the version can differ; it can be new, latest. So in my when I'm shooting this video, it's currently uh, 0.26.0. And since mine is a 34, so mine is a 64-bit uh, uh, Windows laptop or Windows OS, I will be installing this. So for this video or tutorial, I'll be showing you how to web or how to do web automation for the following uh, tasks so first let's go to my youtube channel so youtube and let's go to my channel that is sorry i can type the channel so here i have my channel now what i want is uh, I want my channel, so I want uh, the YouTube or I want web automate in such a way that uh, it takes me to this URL directly. So this lessens the number of steps. So going and typing into the search box, then hitting the search button, that's kind of complicated. So it takes me directly to this URL. Then it uh, takes me into my channel. So actually it can just take me to this URL, it lessens the steps even more. And then all I want is it to click this video right here. So it should click that video and as soon as it clicks it should play automatically um seems easy right let me tell you it is easier than it seems <laughs> for that uh, let's go to my editor known as vs code currently i'm using vs code which stands for virtual studio code and i'm using the python ide python version 3.8.2 any version or any ide which supports python will do so for this first let's type from selenium import the name of the function that we are currently using since we are only using one function we can import that and that uh, by that we don't have to type selenium or web driver or whatsoever function name each time we call this function so we use web driver as i already told you that selenium has various packages and web driver is just one of them so let's hit enter now we will be declaring a new variable called as driver1 so driver1 and this will be equal to web driver so here it is my ide is helping me a lot here 
and since we are opening firefox we are going to be using firefox dot firefox right so here it is dot firefox so now we will be providing the path of the gecko drivers that is stored so for that first type executable path exe so here it is executable path uh, which one okay both are same executable path now in quotes we're going to be giving the address or where in our system in which library is gecko driver that we just installed is stored so we'll be pasting this so my gecko driver is installed in python script slash gecko driver now the next line now the next line is driver one driver one dot get so now what this dot get does is it gives us any url or it takes us to any url that we specify it to so this will be in quotes so let's go to the uh, let's go to my channel's url uh yeah that's my channel url control c let's copy this let's go back to my editor and let's paste this control v and there we have it so all this by itself should be taking us to youtube it should be taking us to firefox and then it should be taking us to youtube and in this particular link that is my channel so let's try it before that let's save this file so we go to save as uh we keep this as web automation nation and we'll keep this as test right and it's very important the why let's save this in my folder and let's run this code fingers crossed now it takes a lot it takes some time to run as uh, it has to do uh, the first time because it has to take all the functions from the library execute them open firefox etc um that should be executing in mean few seconds because this is the first time the program is running yeah there we go it opened firefox voila and now let's sit back and watch firefox is open Now there comes YouTube with my link. So voila, this is my channel and there you have it with the click of a button. Now that's not all, you can do more. So let's proceed. So now what we are going to do is we are going to create another variable and we will name that as button, b-u-t-t-o-n and I'm sorry. And what this button variable is gonna do is it's going to um, get us to it's gonna find an X path. So we're gonna go to driver driver one dot find. So yeah, find element by X path right there, and we're gonna be specifying the X path. Now, what is X path? Not many of us would know what is X path, right? So, all you need to do is find X path is. Let's go to my YouTube channel. Uh, so now, what we are going to do is right click, um, inspect element, and we are going to click on this little tiny icon here, and we are going to click on uh, the element that or the video that I currently want to click or anything that I want to click. So let's see, I want to go to this video, this is my latest video, if you not check that out, you definitely have to check this video, it's awesome, and uh, it's really informative, so let's click on this, uh, here there's a line as you can see, uh, it's copied, and uh, it's selected, so let's copy this, so all you need to do is go to copy, and copy X path. so after that let's come back, and let's paste this right here. Uh, so the X path is now pasted. So now what we're going to do is we're going to write a function. We are going to uh, use a function called button. 
so the name of the function is click so click basically means that you're gonna click the button or click the video in this case now let's run this code and see the result right so run and yeah it's accepted the command let's sit back and wait There it opens Firefox. Uh, now it's taking me to my YouTube channel. There it is. And I promise, guys, I'm not touching my mouse pointer. My mouse pointer is still, and neither am I touching my keyboard. Voila! There's my new video. Now let's pause this. And as you can see, that's how easy web automation is. Now let's see the number of lines we have actually used. Oh, we've used only seven. We were uh, we were talking about ten, weren't we? Now let's take out these pieces. We have used only 5 lines. Can you believe it guys? 5 lines are such complicated procedures. Uh, what I have seen is if you don't use, if you don't give this executable path, it too works. But if it is not working then one of the problems would be uh, sometimes somewhere in Firefox here, right here. So if I am not using the executable path etc. Then sometimes you get errors but most of the times it's pro uh, it works properly. So let's run this and I I'll just show you. So I just click on run and I'm waiting. So what executable part does is it uh, gives us the path of the gecko driver and it's easier for the computer and it takes less time for the computer to actually manually search gecko driver and execute it. So we already give the path so it's easier for the computer. Yippee, there's my video. So guys, here's the time. I'm going to be ending my video and as I told you, at the end of a video, I will be giving you an, ass uh, an assignment. So with this assignment, you will be able to practice more and more and make more projects on web automation. So as you know, practice makes perfect and more, the more you practice, the more you get it, the more you get hang of it, the easier it becomes to you. So now today's assess assignment will be to uh, go to my channel that is yeah right here. So you're gonna go to my channel or actually let's come here. Yeah, so you are gonna you're gonna go to my channel as you know my link and then you're gonna click on one of my videos, it can be any one of them. So currently I'll just go to my lady's video. If you're not check this out, you better do because it's really informative and it, it's gonna definitely help you in your future. So now after you click on my video, what I want you to do is first subscribe so using web automation you're gonna be doing all this okay not all, all by yourself i know it's really easy you just click on url and then you just use your mouse point or you just use your mouse uh, mouse pointer but i want you to actually you do this using web automation go to my channel uh go to one of my videos and then click on subscribe and then after you have subscribed uh there is a small trick that you need to understand and if you're going to be able to um, solve it and if you're successful in doing so then I highly recommend you to uh, put this in the notification or sorry in the comment box down below so I will know and it encourages me to do more videos and if you have any topics any of them that you want me to do a video on you can specify them on in the comment section and you will be seeing a video on the same topic very soon so with that I would um, like to take leave and be stay tuned until my next video you by subscribing using web automation that's all for today thank you stay tuned for one of my next videos